Ranked among the best animated adaptations of comics are Batman the Animated Series, Spider-Man the Animated Series, X-Men the Animated Series, and Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Yet this series only lasted for two seasons before it was quickly replaced by Avengers Assemble in 2013. So the question becomes, why did Marvel decide to get rid of one series that was very well received by fans and replace it with one that, while not terrible, wasn't nearly on the level of the previous show? The easy answer shouldn't really surprise anyone who knows how most big businesses work, but we'll get to there. Earth's Mightiest Heroes debuted on September 22nd, 2010, and it ran until May 5th, 2013 on the Disney XD network. There were a total of 52 episodes within that two seasons, which featured a mix of some of the best stories from the history of Marvel Comics, and they saw the team cross over with the likes of Spider-Man, Wolverine, the Fantastic Four, and the Guardians of the Galaxy. The series also updated some of the characters, Hawkeye becoming a fan favorite, and the Wasp was far more important than her original comic debut. And the Hulk, well, the Hulk did more than just grunt and smash things when the team came up against the big group of villains. The team fought the Masters of Evil, freed Captain America from the ice, fought the Skrull and the Secret Invasion, faced off against Galactus, fought against Ragnarok across the Nine Realms in a sort of War of the Realms, and they met pretty much every heavy hitter in the Marvel Universe. It was this dedication to adapting the best comic book plot lines that made the show a favorite amongst fans. But the series didn't just adapt. It also updated and changed some of the aspects, which made them feel fresh for long-term fans of the original comic book series. So why did it get canceled? Why was it replaced? Well, the sad fact of the matter is that regardless of how a show is reviewed and rated amongst the fans, there are many factors that go into whether a certain program will stay in the air. And toy sales are a huge part of this, as many of you who know the story behind Young Justice know. But with Earth's Mightiest Heroes, there's also the problem of the other properties that share the same characters. In case you didn't know, the original Avengers movie in the MCU, the one that brought all of the heroes together on the big screen for the first time, well, that was released in 2012. Now, this was a big day for comic book fans, and both Marvel and Disney felt that the small screen version of the team should reflect the big screen version of the team. So while Earth's Mightiest Heroes had several members of the Avengers that hadn't appeared in the movies yet, Avengers Assemble would feature the same cast of heroes that the kids could see in the movie theater. The merchandise would also all line up. It was perfect. You see, you can make the argument that the series characterized the heroes much like their movie counterparts. And you could also introduce new characters that were coming up in the movies so that the kids would be super excited for them. But hey, I'm not a big time cartoon producer. What do I know? See, a lot of you don't realize, but a similar thing happened with the Spectacular Spider-Man series, which some have said was the best Spider-Man series since the 90s cartoon. This series was canceled for the Ultimate Spider-Man series, which would feature characters that would look more like their big screen counterparts, such as Nick Fury, who, to be fair, looked like his Ultimate Universe counterpart since that was originally modeled after Samuel L. Jackson. So it's kind of like a snake eating its own tail thing. If you're not getting what I'm saying, and the Ultimate Universe, they modeled it after Samuel L. Jackson, so when the movies came out, they just hired Samuel L. Jackson, and that's why your old grizzled white Nick Fury just kind of disappeared. Now, Avengers Assemble and Ultimate Spider-Man aren't terrible cartoons, although some people will argue that they really, really are, but they were nowhere near the level of their previous series. What is possibly the worst part about this entire Earth's Mightiest Hero situation, though, is the guys who were making the original show weren't aware that it was going to be ending, so they had long plans coming, and due to leaks, we kind of know where Earth's Mightiest Heroes was going to be going in its next couple of seasons. You see, there were several leaks for concept art and possible story arcs for what would have been a third season. It's possible that we would have seen the world dealing with the mutants and it would have led into an Avengers vs. X-Men thing, Civil War, Planet Hulk, a true Ragnarok, Age of Ultron, Namor in Atlantis, the Secret Avengers, Thanos, and possibly the inclusion of new characters like Miles Morales and Kamala Khan. They were building an entire Avengers universe in this one little cartoon. Unfortunately, we'll never truly know what might have been. Who can say what a third season would have been if it had aired? 
much like cartoons of old, it could have turned into absolute trash. They could have tried to cram way too many things into there. You guys know that I'm a passionate person when it comes to shows that I enjoy, who then decide to throw in tons and tons of cast members ruining the show. I've watched it happen on every single CW show. I watched it happen on Young Justice. I like to have a nice core knit group in my shows. So adding in everyone, that may have been a problem for me, but I don't know. Anyway, I can't say what would have happened. You can't say what would have happened, but what did you think about the Earth's Mightiest Heroes show? Did you enjoy it? Did you not like it? Did you prefer Avengers Assemble? I don't really have any personal anecdotes about this show, simply because when Earth's Mightiest Heroes was going on, I was still kind of transitioning out of the military, so I wouldn't really catch it when it aired or have any like special thing I did with my brother or my father. I just kind of caught it when I caught it. But then I just caught up on all the episodes much later when this kind of became more of a job and I wanted to be current on everything that had existed. So either way, I want to know your opinions on Earth's Mightiest Heroes, and don't forget to let me know in the comments down below other shows that you want us to cover. I've got a few in the works right now. We're going to be talking about the Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. We're also going to be talking about hashtag what happened to what happened to hashtag Zack Snyder cut. The what, the whole Z Zack Snyder cut thing. We can find a lot of information on that. And we're going to talk about that one as well. But I want to know other ideas that you guys want us to see us talking about or going over in the comments down below. Thank you so much for supporting us here and I will see you next time right here at Comic Story.